Hello everybody and welcome. Hope you're all safe and well. I have just left my hotel which is the Double Tree by Hilton next to Universal Orlando and I'm going to be walking over to Universal Orlando. It's only about a 15 20 minute walk from here which is absolutely perfect. Let's go do this. Okay guys, that's us arrived at Universal Orlando. Um, a big bonus of walking there from the hotel is that you enter through the valley entrance, the valley parking entrance. So you go through that security and the line is always short. So it's a great way to skip the security line, which in busy periods can be very long. Our first stop is going to be Islands of Adventure. I am keen to do a couple of thrill rides today and apart from that we'll see what else we get up to. It's uh, another it. it's a beautiful day here in Orlando so let's go. like a relatively quiet day at Universal Orlando according to crowds here just at City Walk. It's quarter to one so middle of the day. Hopefully the queues will be short. Let's go see. I have just checked the times and the Hulk coaster is showing it as a 15 minute wait so that'll be our first stop. Guys I'll be honest I am not the biggest fan of roller coasters in the world however do try and push myself on them because uh, the adrenaline rush is unreal and I usually am pleased after I've done it at the moment. I'm a little bit nervous. And that's what we like to see, short queues, first queue is a walk on. <laughs> the adventure begins, here we go. It would probably be better if I didn't watch this before going on it. My stomach is starting to twitch a little bit and I had breakfast about four hours ago. Why not? Let's go do it. Well guys, that's me just off the Hulk and I am absolutely shaking. <laughs> uh, I love that roller coaster. I um, love the fact that instead of a slow incline, it just shoots you off to start with. For me, that is perfect because it takes away all the anticipation of a scary fast ride. <laughs> But delighted I got myself on there. Really enjoyed it. Thumbs up. After the Hulk roller coaster, I took a little wander around the park. Um, actually, got a little meet and greet with Spider Man for uh, my two boys. I got a little bit video message done, which was great. And now I've decided actually to leave Islands of Adventure. So that's the exit, guys. That's the entrance of Islands of Adventure. Go up this way to City Walk where you came in and I'm about to go into Cowfish, the sushi and burger bar for a little lunch. Cowfish is a burger and sushi uh, sort of restaurant and it's one of their specialities is called a burgushi uh, and that's a uh, cowfish introduces a unique fusion of burgers and sushi and I think I'm going to try that because I'm a man that loves my burgers and loves my sushi, so combination must be a good thing. The server has taken my order and I have gone for the all-American bacon double cheese burger sushi. Or cheese burger sushi probably should be. Um, it is described as seasoned premium black Angus beef, yellow cheddar cheese, white cheddar cheese, and applewood smoked bacon wrapped in a soy paper and potato strings then flash fried topped with dill pickle, red onion, Roma tomato served over our house made cowfish sauce topped with ketchup and mustard sounds delicious looking forward to it I am absolutely starving I've not ate since um, about half past seven this morning and it's half past two now and if anyone knows me to any extent will realise that does not happen too often. 
I like my food. So here we go, let's see what this has to offer. We have got the goods. Look at this. I wasn't sure what to expect to be honest, but this looks sensational. I cannot wait to get my laughing gear around this. Let's get a serviette here. Just in case. Here we go. Absolutely delicious. So you've got... I'll just give you a wee close up of it just to show you what it is. got the sort of crispy shell on the outside and in from that you've got the sushi rice and in the centre you've got the burger and the cheese. Superb, thank you very much. Dipped in the sauce. On top of it ketchup and mustard and the wee spice of the mustard is absolutely beautiful goes really really well I'm currently halfway through it and um, it is a perfect little size for a lunch during the park um, if you're going to be riding some thrill rides or fast sort of simulators after lunch and you don't have too much in your stomach of course so this is a perfect little kind of Heavy snack, I suppose, light lunch. Um, so, definite thumbs up for me. Well, the evidence is here, guys. Another win. Super food. Super little lunch. Very much enjoyed it. A big thumbs up. Oh, some must have left my finger. Schoolboy error. Very tasty. Get yourself along to cowfish, folks. Lovely. So, that's me just out from my little lunch at. Uh, cowfish there guys it was very nice uh, I enjoyed it a good little light lunch snack uh, for me a uh, three out of five we have arrived at Universal Studios let's go on in it's time for Transformers let's get in we are showing our 20 minute way just off Transformers guys uh, really good good ride I enjoyed it Showed a 20 minute wait and last minute I decided to jump in the single, single rider line. Now, got to the front straight away, there was no one else in that single rider line, however, a technical breakdown for the ride so I did have a 10 minute wait in the end but nonetheless got on it, enjoyed it, thumbs up, on to the next one, here we go. The only original ride left here at Universal Studios, an absolute classic. Hurry! Come, celebrate with us! Goodbye, Eleanor, Kevin, Maria, and... What an absolute classic ET is. Yeah, I love that ride. Completely reminds me of my childhood, visiting with my family. Um, and it was actually a 20 minute wait this time. Literally just changed from 65 to 45 minutes. We're going to get our bash. That's me just out of uh, Harry Potter Escape from Gringotts. A top ride, a sort of coaster ride while using the technology on the screens really enjoyed it. It was a 45 minute wait when I went in, it just changed. However, I jumped in the single rider line, which still took about half an hour, so bear in mind guys, single rider line does not always mean a short queue. Time to ride the Hogwarts Express from King's Cross Universal. Here we are walking through King's Cross Station, making our way over to Hogsmeade.
realised that the sun was setting, I hung around for the sun to set and watched the Hogsmeade nighttime show in the castle, which is absolutely spectacular. And uh, it took me wander around. Well, guys, the adventure lives on. Um, that's me done at Universal Orlando today. I had a top day. I'm absolutely shattered. About to walk back to the hotel. Um, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like, subscribe, please. That would be much appreciated. And um, we'll see you next time. Enjoy. Cheers, guys. Bye bye.